Welcome to my channel, Karina Alude, where we deep dive and break down the most iconic stars in history. If you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so and turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. Today we are talking about Helen for La Chade Adieu, my favorite Chade. I did a video for her already. This is an updated. I just I had to do an updated version for her because the old video was just not it, okay? But she is better known by her stage name, Sade Adu, or simply Sade. She has the most soulful voice, and I always tell people Sade is my favorite singer. Just all her songs I grew up on, they soothe me, they calm me, they relax me. She just has like this quiet storm. You want to have the rain on, you want to have your cup of coffee or tea or you know, whatever, and just relax and relax. She's just so relaxed. And she's really my favorite. I can't express that enough. But Helen Fuller of Sade Adu, better known by her stage name Sade Adu, or simply Sade, is a British singer of Nigerian descent and the front woman of her self titled group. Her music has been cited as an inspiration by many in the modern music scene, and she is widely considered to be one of the most successful British female artists of all time. In 1986, she became the first Nigerian-born artist to win a Grammy Award when she was named Best New Artist, and in 2023, Sade was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Sade is known for being super private and secretive. She rarely gives interviews, and she disappears for 10 years at a time. You just will not see her her and we love that in my last video that I did for her we talked about how she could possibly be a mermaid <laughs> just a conspiracy that's out there because she's always filming in the water she's always filming as a mermaid and even when she's cooking in one of her videos baby father she's like fish making the kids smell the fish and they say that mermaids and sirens disappear for 10 years at a time and then they come back so it's just a whole little conspiracy theory. But when asked why she waits so long to drop new music, she said, I only make records when I feel I have something to say. I'm not interested in releasing music just for the sake of selling something. Sade is not a brand, end quote. Way. Obviously, I think a lot of people are frightened that if they go away, if they disappear for a while, everything will crumble. They'll come back and there's no place for them. Notably, Sade's fashion style also carries this image of eternity. In her interviews, she says that she likes to wear simple clothes and stays away from things that are too flashy. This adds to the idea that less is more and that Sade's music and art are focused on quality. This is a valuable lesson about how to act. In modern culture, artists, especially women, care a lot about how they look on the outside and portray hypersexualized versions of themselves to attract audiences and empower tones related to to female energy. But in the case of Sade, the tone of sensuality is natural because she is more focused on the music she is making and draws attention to the stories she is telling in her songs rather than the sexualization of her body. Not too many women in the industry can garner so much success while being so classy like her. Sade almost has this power over her admirers where she can disappear for years at a time and have us in a chokehold when she finally decides to come back. Drake is obsessed with her and is probably her biggest fan. Also, Beyonce calls her music a friend. She inspired Aaliyah, Lauryn Hill, Kanye West, and more. Each new generation that is introduced to her is even more obsessed than a generation before. Please. <laughs> All the pictures that we've seen of you and uh, the way that you're presented, your image is such a sultry one, uh, kind of a sex symbol, uh, if you will. Is that Sade? 
Uh, Shadow's just like simple clothes, really. I don't like... In fact, I think if, you, if you're a sex symbol, you have to like um, glittery gowns and sequins, and I don't like that. So, in a way, I'm a bit of a misfit, I suppose. <laughs> In a time where everything is so overexposed, it's still refreshing to see starlets focus on the craft and the art and refrain from becoming overexposed themselves. She has sold over 50 million records and there is rumors that she is currently working on her latest project that may drop this year in 2023. So fingers crossed, we are all waiting. Now in terms of her beauty secret and diet, I could not find much information on that because like we said, she is notoriously private. All that I know is that she used to be vegetarian for some time for a very long time and then she gave that up because she was looking at some lamb some sheep just walking around and she just was craving lamb and was like okay I'm done with vegetarianism but aside from that we don't really know too much about that and I kind of like that but we know she wears more of neutral colors when she wears makeup it's very natural she'll have a wing line and then she's notoriously famous for wearing red lipstick no one wears red lipstick like Sade right she is just gorgeous to me one of the most beautiful singers of all time she is gorgeous she has a natural quiet mysterious and charming sensual appeal and she just is beautiful she loves ponytails and I love her forehead <laughs> it's amazing she loves to wear ponytails and mostly updo styles and likes a clean makeup look so it's pretty easy to imitate Sade's look there's a lot of makeup tutorials here on YouTube on imitating some of her most iconic photos and I just like that she still appears very creative with her look even though she doesn't do much she's not like doing super intricate hairstyles or super intricate makeup but she still looks pretty intricate every time you see her now as far as her childhood Sade was born on January 16th, 1959 in Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. Her middle name, Fola Sade, means honor earns the crown. Her dad was an economics lecturer from a Yoruba background and her mother was an English district nurse who had met and married in London before moving to Nigeria. When Sade was four years old, her parents unfortunately separated and her mother returned to England with Sade and her elder brother, Benji, to live with their grandparents. When Sade was 11 years old, she moved to Holland on CS sex and lived with her mother there until she completed high school at Clacton County High School and Colchester Institute when she was 18. After graduating, she moved to London where she studied fashion design at St. Martin's School of Art. As a teenager, Sade developed a soulful singing voice by listening to Billie Holiday, Aretha Franklin, Ray Charles, and Nina Simone. She got some jobs singing around London, but to pay the bills, she worked as a bike messenger and a waitress. Throughout all of this change in her life as a young girl, Sade gained strength from both her family and her culture, which ultimately shaped her into the amazing singer that we all know today. She took these experiences and used them as fuel for making beautiful music that has touched people around the world for decades. Now, as far as her career, she had an illustrious career, and you see how all the girls are fighting for number one albums and to top the charts? She has left for 10 years at a time and came back and all her albums would chart. Let's talk about it. Sade began her music career as a backup singer for the British band Pride after completing a three-year fashion design program and dabbling in modeling. During this time, she collaborated with Pride's guitarist, saxophonist Stuart Matthewman on songwriting and the two of them began performing solo sets at Pride. The rest of the band providing rhythm section support. In 1983, Sade and Matthewman, along with keyboardist Andrew Hell, bassist Paul Denman, and drummer Paul Cook, left Pride to form the band Sade, a name inspired by the song Smooth Operator, which she had performed solo to great acclaim. Over a thousand people were turned away from her debut performance at London's Heavens nightclub because the club was sold out and packed full with people trying to hear Sade's smooth, velvety voice. Sade's first ever concert in the United States was at New York City's Danceteria in May of 1983. Sade Adu inked a deal with Epic Records on October 18, 1983. The rest of the band followed suit in 1984. Having signed a record deal, the band spent six weeks at London's The Power Plant recording their debut album, Diamond Life. And on July 16, 1984, Diamond Life was released, and it went on to become the band's most successful album to date, peaking at number two on the UK album chart and selling over 1.2 million copies in the UK alone. More than 4 million copies of the album have been sold worldwide, and it was a top 10 seller in the United States. Over 6 million copies of Diamond Life were sold around the world making it one of the best-selling debut albums of all time and the best debut album by a British female vocalist. The band's second album, Promise, 
was released in the late 80s and it became their first album to reach number one on the US Billboard 200 in the UK album chart. In 1986, the album debuted atop the charts and stayed there for two weeks. After four million copies were sold, the album was certified four times platinum for its success in the region. Well quick, comment below your favorite song from Sade. Mine is By Your Side. That's my favorite, favorite song of all time from her. It just does something to me every single time. Sade made her acting debut in a 1986 film adaptation of Colin McKinney's novel Absolute Beginners, which was set in London in the 1950s. Sade portrayed Athene Buchanan on screen and provided singing for the film's score. In the United States, Sade's third album, Stronger Than Pride, which was released on May 3rd, 1988, was certified three times platinum because of its commercial success. And on October 26, 1992, the band released their fourth studio album titled Love Deluxe. The album reached number three on the US Billboard 200 and has sold over 3.4 million copies in the US alone. After selling 4 million copies, the IRAA certified the album four times platinum. Also, the album was financially successful in France where it debuted at number one, as well as in New Zealand, Sweden, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom where it debuted in the top 10. As a result, the album earned gold status in the UK. After an extended hiatus of eight years, the band returned on November 13, 2000 with Lovers Rock their fifth studio album after selling over 3 million copies in the United States by February 2010 the album was certified triple platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America it peaked at number 18 on the UK albums chart and at number 3 on the Billboard 200 Sade won the 2002 Grammy for best pop vocal album with this album on February 27th the album's lead single, By Your Side, my favorite song, was also nominated for the 2002 Grammy for the Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. The song was ranked as the number 48 best love song of all time by VH1. Sade took a 10-year break after Lover's Rock came out so that she could raise her child and settle down in the Caribbean. Soldier of Love, the band's sixth studio album, was released around the world on February 8, 2010, and it featured new raw material for the first time in 10 years. The album was well received and quickly became a commercial success after its initial release. Sales of 500,000 copies in its first week put the album at the top of Billboard 200 charts in the United States. For the band, Soldier of Love became their first number one album, and it debuted their second number one album, Peak. The title track won Best R&B Performance by a Duo or Group with vocals at the 53rd Annual Grammy Awards in 2011, while Baby Father was nominated for Best Pop Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocals. Sade Adu is known for her smooth jazz music and iconic style, but what many people do not know is that she has a rich history when it comes to dating. And there's not too many photos out there with her and her lovers, so I don't have much to show you guys, okay? In the 1980s, Sade was in a relationship with Robert Elms and Tottenham, where they both lived. And in 1989, she married Spanish film director Carlos Pliego, and the couple stayed together until 1995. Following her divorce from Pliego, Sade took up residence in the Caribbean with Jamaican music producer Bob Morgan. It was during this time that she gave birth to her first child, Isaac Theo Adu, on July 21st, 1996. Sade and Morgan eventually parted ways and it wasn't until 2007 that Sade found love again. This time was with former Royal Marine Ian Watts. Through their relationship, they welcomed his stepson into their family. Sade has had an eventful romantic life, which has resulted in the formation of a beautiful blended family. Now, according to Lipstick Alley, I didn't find one thing as secret as if she is. Due to her privacy, few people know that the Cherish Today singer was once detained and banned from an entire country for over four years. Bob Morgan, a Jamaican music producer and Sade's ex-boyfriend and the father of her son, had their own Bonnie and Clyde moment with the Jamaican law enforcement. When Sade Sade and Bob began dating in the 90s, she decided to spend some time in Jamaica so that she could learn more about Bob's Jamaican heritage and share some of her own with her kid. And on February 27, 1997, Sade was involved in a high-speed chase. According to the Jamaican police, Sade was driving with her guy in the passenger seat and when they tried to pull her over for speeding, she allegedly sped faster in an attempt to lose them. They located her car and promptly arrested her on the spot for dangerous driving and for swearing at them like a sailor. After Sade missed three court hearings, the judge barred her from entering the nation until 2002 and threatened to have her arrested if she tried to return before. Sade claimed the police officers lied about her arrest being the result of a refusal to pay a bribe. She swore she would never go to Jamaica again. She swore it off. But yeah, this, this is the only thing you'll find about her. You will not. You can search up and down this internet. The day that she drops a book, 
book or wants to do a biopic it will be so like people will jump all over it because so many people want to know about her and there's not much out there to know about her but this is all i have for this video i love you guys so much thank you for tuning in if you like the music you listen to the link is in the description support my brother comment below what was interesting that you learned about your favorite songs and who else would you guys like to see i love you guys so much stay tuned for a mini tribute to her until next time Thank you.